News are making major headlines by the decision they've made to ban the word Redskins when covering Washington's NFL football team. It is a move adding fuel to the long debate about whether the team's mascot is derogatory to Native Americans. And joining us right now is Felicia Henderson, assistant managing editor of the Detroit News. So Felicia, tell us why now is the Detroit News making this decision and will it put pressure on this owner to change the name in Washington? Well, right now, a lot of newspapers are considering this change, and this is one we have been considering for some time, just because this is an offensive, disparaging term to Native Americans, and we just want to do the right thing. Uh, as far as pressure on uh, the owner, that seems to be, you know, we'll see how that plays out, but a lot of newspapers, we aren't the first one to do it. Uh, we're probably the first one in this area, but other newspapers across the country have made similar decisions. What kind of reaction are you getting from Detroit News readers? Uh, very mixed. You know, some people say, why change what, what's there? You know, why are, some people feel like we're kowtowing to, okay. to pressure, trying to be PC. But we want to do what's right, you know, by our readers, by members of our community. Well, what do you think, though? I mean, this, this owner, the Washington Redskins owner, he said all along, I am not changing the name. But if newspapers stop using the name, if he can't use the name on merchandise and things of that nature, I mean, it's going to hit him in the pocketbook. Right? I would think it would. But, you know, that's not been our concern about what this does for him and his pocketbook. It's we're trying to do what's right as an institution and as a community uh, leader in Metro Detroit. And you were mentioning uh, before we went on air just now that uh, there was an editorial in the Chicago Tribune that was likening the move that is, was made by Donald Sterling to the Redskins football name. Yes, I, th I thought it was very interesting. Clarence uh, Page uh, from the Chicago Tribune, editorial writer, last week said, Sterling is getting punished for insults he uttered in private. Redskins owner Don Daniel Snyder insults Native American Indians in public every day that he refuses to change the football team's name. And I thought that's pretty yeah, powerful. That's a pretty powerful point. It there. is pretty powerful. So we'll have to see what this move does across the nation. I mean, you said other newspapers are following suit, and some did it even before the Detroit News. So that's correct. Maybe it'll be a snowball effect. That's true. And we'll see what shakes out. All right. Thank you so much, Felicia. Thank you.